So guys, today's video is gonna be a huge perfume haul slash unboxing slash first impressions because I finally purchased a couple of perfumes from my wishlist and there are also a few PR boxes that have just recently come. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on all of the new US perfumes in my collection. It's gonna be a longer and chattier video, so definitely grab yourself a snack and please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up as well as feel free to subscribe to my channel because it's truly such a great support for me and I hope that this video will also take just one take so on that note let's get started So hello and welcome everyone to today's huge perfume haul. I have just purchased a couple of fragrances from my wish list that I've been dreaming about forever. There are a few PR boxes that have just recently come and I'll be opening them on camera and sharing with you my first impressions on all of these fragrances. But before we get started, I really wanted to ask what's the newest perfume in your collection? Please comment it down below and I want to begin with an amazing vanilla perfume that I've been dreaming about for years and finally decided to pull the trigger and get Velvet Vanilla by Mansara, which is such a fantastic floral vanilla fragrance. One of the best by Mansara for sure. I really like the presentation. It is luxurious and I got an amazing bargain on it online. So this is the bottle. It is quite colorful. I had it pink here in my memory, but oh, you guys, this is like an amazing, sultry, really velvety vanilla that is quite floral and perfect for the summertime. So yeah, I absolutely adore it and you'll see it in a few of my upcoming videos. So definitely activate the bell to stay notified about future uploads, but it's so creamy, so juicy and at the same time sweet. I adore it. By the way, I got another Mansara perfume and I haven't even opened it yet, which is also a floral perfume, but very different from Velvet Vanilla, which was quite, you know, vanillic. And this is Jasmine Exclusive. And you might remember my first impressions. That video is actually the one on newer Mansara perfumes that I got in sample format from their website. And I remember I really love Jasmine exclusive and I can't believe it's finally in my collection. My gosh, I've been really dreaming about it for a long time because I loved it at first sniff. You know, this is that indolic type of Jasmine, which is in the combination with agarwood that feels skinky and that's so unexpected, even from Mansara as a niche friend, because that skinky or animalic type of wood is not very mainstream. So to get such an indolic take on Jasmine in the combination with oud and other notes. It's fantastic. So these are the newer Mansara perfumes in my collection. I definitely need a few more from this brand. So I could film like a top 10 or just, you know, top list of Mansara favorites for you. But I've already shared with you like uh, my thoughts on their perfume collection and I will leave the link to that video as well as other health information down below in the description box. So make sure to check it out and drop a comment below if you like Mansara as a brand. If you want to get more information about it, check out my video. And if you have a couple of favorites, please comment them down below. Maybe you're familiar with these two, which are so, so sexy in my personal opinion. But let's move on to the fragrance that I've been waiting for a long time, literally, guys. This is that fragrance I was dreaming about for the casual wear because it's so amazing. Oh, so, oh, packed it on. Really, really love the note. Gillian, I hope you're having... Oh, no, oh, thank you. Nothing for the, uh, nothing but sea and sky. Uh, thank you. Best best regards. Okay. This is the note from the brand Unui Nomad and their fantastic perfume. Nothing but um, sea and sky. Okay. So, guys, uh, I had like a beautiful discovery set with their perfumes, and I gotta be honest with you. I love this perfume for the simplicity. Normally, I'm not into the minimalistic type of fragrances because they are usually quite boring to me. <laughs> I got my scissors, don't worry, because I've just done my nails today, so it would be such a shame 
breaking them but when I smell this fragrance which is not a complicated perfume by any means by the way this is the presentation really slick and beautiful I fell in love right at first sniff also with the Siyash it's so good you might remember I really love their perfumes love at first sight and also the sugar leather is amazing memory Mattel was the first one I discovered click song is such a fabulous warm musky patchouli but this this is unlike any other of those fragrances it is very sandalwoody and musky extremely textural smells modern that kind of molecule type of fragrance if you know what i'm talking about it just smells of something very atmospheric not necessarily perfumey but it has the best sillage that lasts for such a long time and it is extremely comforting cozy because it's woody and musky fluffy powdery and extremely alluring oh my god i could go on and on and on about this perfume and spray even more but i highly recommend you check it out in case you're looking for a very versatile and very smooth perfume that also feels sexy i feel it's because of maybe some molecules in there and i just love the sillage so much and have a discount for you so feel free to check it out the link and the discount is down below but let's move on to the next perfume actually i got three of them on the tray hopefully I won't drop them so this is the presentation really shiny really beautiful I've already opened them on camera in another of my chatty videos uh, but today I wanted to go deeper into each fragrance from this Arish Hanan collection by the brand Orientica it always kills it with a presentation that's on point that is so stunning to look at for example this one that is called Arish Hanan this is actually the name of this perfume not the collection it is called Called Aresh, but you guys, oh my god, this is another gorgeous musky fragrance. It has that kind of like very clean white musk note that feels extremely elegant. If you're looking for a perfect daytime fragrance, I've been loving wearing it in the morning. Just apply after I woke up because it is inoffensive. It is very clean, very, very chic type of perfume mixed with some ambery molecules with sweet notes. It is a little bit in the Middle Eastern style, but it feels clean. It's not one of those fluffy powdery masks that I personally love but some other people have a bit of an issue with so this is a very clean very beautiful that fresh laundry type of the scent that I absolutely love that I find is extremely universal just as this next perfume Arish Shaza so it comes in a golden bottle really pretty and shiny but it has more of sweetness to it it's quite juicy I love almost like a cocktail feeling in there Come from the pineapple and the melon they are extremely mouth-watering and I like the gourmand accord that reminds me just a little bit of Erba Pura but that perfume that is extremely mass appealing that has massive projection is a little bit too overwhelming for me and this one is way more just wearable for the everyday basis so I really love it if you love Erba Pura you will also love it the most unique from this collection though is Arash Oud Anakwa and you guys i love 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 this perfume but it is a little bit challenging for me personally because i'm still trying to figure it out and i love that in the notes we have tuberose and oud you might remember because i keep pointing out that i am obsessed with these two notes especially if you can find them in one perfume like when i saw this i was like dang so amazing especially for me because I'm always looking for tuberose and oud in one perfume. For some strange reason, I figure out that it's not the most common notes combination, but it is extremely dusty. It is powdery, but in a dusty way. We have some other floral notes like elaine and orange blossom in here together with agave. And um, I keep on noticing it in some fragrances, but I don't really know how agave smells. I can imagine it is a little bit leafy and maybe with a honey nuance. Let me know if you have any experience 
experience with agave and you know how it smells but there is also oud with some woodsy notes and musk so it is heavier but not like that nighttime perfume it's just warmer with bigger sillage and i love it it is very very unique and i find that this is one of the prettiest collections by orientica that they have ever released so in case you want to you know just find out more about this brand i have many reviews but if you would be interested like in a collective review on all orientica perfumes because i literally have a couple of them please let me know in the commentary section i'm always looking forward to read your feedback but on that note as we've already touched on the note of oud and tuberose, but now let's talk about this fantastic oud perfume, which is kind of like a re-release of one of my most favorite tropical ouds by Rainier. It's called Oud Rain Tropical Storm. So I really want to show you the fantastic presentation. You know, Rainier is a very great man, talented artist, painter actually, and just look at this beauty, you guys. This is such a stunning presentation that you're getting from him, and the fragrance is absolutely mind blowing. I'm actually thinking about comparing it to the first wood rain that came in the packaging, the first OG one that I still have. So let me know if you would be interested in that but you guys when I smelled it I literally noticed quite a few differences and first of all it smells tropical like the original fragrance but it is way oodier and wood in here is a little bit dirty which I like because I like dirty floral fragrances in here we have like all the beautiful you know tropical notes it is kind of mouth watering but with a dirty twist which is really sexy in my personal opinion so this is definitely Definitely a summer oud for a night out if you want to stand out it feels so luxurious and has just like an amazing sillage that is so pleasant and so unique in case you want to check out Rainier perfumes you can get them at Equation Natural and I even have a discount for you so feel free to use it I keep on telling you about my discounts just in case you want to save a little bit on quite expensive perfumes that I have a pleasure to tell you about just like the next fragrance and oh my god it is extremely heavy Hamartia by Quinta Canto is one of the newer releases and I'm so grateful that I got an opportunity to test it out oh my god I need to open it hold on their boxes are just like so difficult to open oh my god ah. okay almost there almost there okay almost there okay okay also trying to be Woo. okay first layer the note the note the note again okay so you're ready you're ready okay pray I won't drop it oh yeah okay ta -da! so stunning let's get it out okay you ready look at this absolutely stunning bottle but believe it or not the scent is even better i don't know where to spray it probably on my hair because it's so good i really want to have it around me so i can smell it the most yeah okay let's do one more you guys, so hard to describe, like one of the most complex perfumes I've ever smelled. And Paolo Terenzi is like such, you know, a genius perfumer. And this is another masterpiece that is not the easiest perfume to wear, I need to admit. But you guys, I love all the beautiful and really rich gourmand notes in here. We got the chocolate with cardamom and coffee caramel and vanilla, tonka beans, and even coriander seeds. So there are a few of those and you can smell, you can feel the texture. It's hot, it is cold, it's playing on contrast. We have some flowers, a bit of a powdery note and also oud with a bad fever and wood. So patchouli gives it like the depth and it's just like a vavoom fragrance. So I love it, it's one of the best I've smelled this month and I'm obsessed with this perfume. It's like warmer so I think I'll be wearing it even more when the weather changes now it is not as hot as it uh, used to be this summer so yeah it's it's really nice when it's just a little bit chillier outside because it's like the fragrance with an amazing performance and it smells so good that it, it definitely deserves like an extra review but I just really wanted to let you know that it's in my collection and in case you've been wondering how it smells it smells just so 
so out of this world so with that being said now talking about gorgeous perfumes i've just recently filmed a reel about this mixture by the french brand hormone paris that i had a true pleasure to discover for myself at songs earlier this year and the founders of the brand are great guys you know with like very nice idea creating perfumes kind of inspired by the hormones and how they affect human bodies so each of their perfumes is dedicated to a specific hormone and they have these mixtures known as the product from joining two separate hormones or more so this presentation is really cool just like stunning presentation it's so much fun i have one of the perfumes which is endorphin you know like ecstasy in a bottle as i call it because like it it's like me me in the bottle captured the essence of my taste oh, i wish you could smell it guys because it feels powdery and i love powdery perfumes but like with a few twists a little bit sweet a little bit floral even spicy you know sometimes perfumes are well blended so it's hard to say oh you know the cinnamon is stronger than the saffron in here no like everything is like in perfect balance and this is the scent of happiness for me personally plus it is very long lasting not you know like a tremendous projection or like extreme sillage but it is long lasting and i can smell it all day long as well as this which i like even better like i'm obsessed with this gorgeous all over spray that is called melatonin you guys first of all like it's so much fun just to spray it all over the body like that and you can literally like wear it instead of the perfume because it is so strong it is so intense and it has this extremely juicy fun playful mouth what train fruity scent with almost like rhubarb and raspberry cocktail like jammy feel floral sea similar to delina but like even better i don't know maybe because it's in a little bit of a different format but i'm obsessed with it so yeah that's new in my collection too and melatonin is mind-blowing if you love delina you need that perfume talking about flowers though last but not least oh my god i got more perfume oils from the brand perfume oil expressions that's based in australia and i had such a blast discovering the perfume oils you know i love this format of uh, applying perfumes because it's just like so cool and i got a few new ones they are all floral and uh yeah i'm just like super super happy about all of them so i have this one don't know how it smells look at it let's find out together Ooh, this is like a very yeah girly rosy um opulent floral type of perfume oh yeah okay so i think earlier girls will like it Ooh, rose wood i think is gonna be a little bit more middle eastern let's see the juice is also quite dark so yeah i have fun rolling them like all over my body okay this is like definitely rose with some heavy base and the next one i'm most excited about i won't lie because i hope it's gonna be oh yeah it's so powdery really violety yeah okay cool so i will definitely film another video about these new perfume oils but just really wanted to throw them in this video just as this next fragrance that is my most complimented out of all of them probably because half of them i haven't worn yet but oh my god this i need to tell you about it okay i'm so excited literally guys men go crazy about narcotic venus by nasamato this is a very luscious very yeah quite sensual but also elegant white floral fragrance with tuberose lily and some musky woodsiness you guys like my boss my colleague at work man really like like it yeah i mean like i'm excited can you tell and i had a sample of it right i placed an order at equation natural and got a sample of this perfume and fell in love and i needed to buy it so i did and it's so good for all who love white flowers this is one of the best ones i could recommend you like hands down like if you trust my taste go on purchase it and you will be obsessed with this truly elegant you know it's one of the perfumes you could wear to the office if you are bold enough but also one of the perfumes you can easily wear on a date because it is really really essential i love it it is so so good and yeah 
you can't go wrong with it if you love white flowers and I have a discount for you which is like always a nice thing right <laughs> let me know if you're already tired of me mentioning my discounts but maybe you're not aware that you can save a little bit so I just love to let you know about that and last but not least fragrance that is so different from all of the ones I mentioned today that is Tennis Club by Carnar Barcelona actually technically I've already mentioned in one of my previous videos like a summer top list of niche perfumes that I'm wearing this season in case you missed it and you would like to check it out I would be really really um thankful for that but anyway tennis club is the fragrance that took me by surprise i won't lie you know i'm not the biggest fan of green perfumes and this is as green can get so in the opening there is kind of like a synthetic moment maybe that scent should imitate the tennis ball aroma i'm not sure but it is aromatic it is green it is also a little bit sharp and i don't know why i love it don't ask me I think it's patchy grain, grassy feeling that gives me that synthetic moment, um, but there is also beautiful breeziness to it and neroli blossoms that are very gentle, solar mask, so it feels very warm, you know, kind of like uh, fresh clothing that is washed and... Um, hangs out on the fresh air in the summer somewhere in Italy, I don't know, that you put on before you go play tennis. Uh, I would say that this is the fragrance for the summertime only. It has this very beautiful breezy green kind of sunny musky floral see ah uh, hard to describe the synthetic note might be a bit off for some people i don't know it is unique probably that's why i like it because typically i'm very bored with uh, green perfumes they're not my favorite they yeah just have lack of complexity and excitement for me personally but this this is really cool and guess what i have that completed this video which i hope you enjoyed watching let me know if it was too much for you but i was really really excited to share with you some of the newest and coolest perfumes in my collection let me know if you have any questions left i'm still waiting for your comments with the newest fragrances that you've recently got so let's chat down below and more health information you'll find in the description box on that note feel free to follow me on my social media and of course if you like this format or you've just enjoyed watching this video please give it a huge thumbs up guys it's easy for you to click on the um, like button and it really helps my videos to get out there hopefully i wasn't bothering you too much touching my hair but it literally drives me crazy but yeah feel free to subscribe to my channel because it's also such a great support for me and if you want if you can and you appreciate my efforts on youtube you can support me on buy me coffee website on that note thank you so much for watching this video i'm excited i have so many new perfumes to play with and spoiler alert i have another one coming in the mail really soon because i got out of control and purchased one fragrance it was very impulsive but i had it on my wish list so i was like you know what it's fine but yeah with that being said have a good one and thank you so much for watching this longer video bye